I'm frequently asked by my patients what palliative treatment means and uh, they want to know about what's coming. The level of anxiety is frequently very high for the patient, the family, and they don't understand frequently all of the terminology that we're using. Can you help us clarify this for our patients? Yeah, I think another excellent question where there is a lot of confusion in terms of the terminology and what we're really meaning. So we would say that Palliative treatment means that it may not be possible for that individual to undergo an operation, but it isn't implying that we can't treat the cancer, and I think that's a really key point to mm -hmm. emphasize. So everything we do with regard to treating a person with pan pancreas cancer is designed to optimize several things, to optimize the individual's level of well-being, to make sure their symptoms are as well controlled as possible, and to try and maximize life expectancy. So that can involve uh, treating uh, the symptoms by optimal pain management, by helping uh, to make sure that their appetite is supported, that if they're not uh, having good production of enzymes to break down and absorb uh, the food that they eat, that we're supplementing that with mm -hmm. pancreatic enzymes and that we're treating the cancer with the best tools uh, that we have in terms of chemotherapy, or radiation, depending on whether the cancer is localized or is spread to other areas. And I think another major area of good symptom control is addressing jaundice. And this is your area of expertise, right? Yes. So putting in a stent or a little pipe into the bile duct, relieving uh, the uh, yellow color, and people feel better when we do Absolutely. that. And we also know that one of the common symptoms that can occur over time is that the duodenum or the upper small bowel get, can get pinched off uh, by the tumor. And there, putting a little stent into the duodenum can make the food passage open and make it much more comfortable for people to eat and alleviate nausea, feeling full, and even sometimes vomiting symptoms. Uh, that can happen. So again, going back to our discussion earlier, it's, it's the multidisciplinary approach in terms of gastroenterology, supportive services, you know, pain management, nutrition and dietetics, and medical oncology that I think optimize outcomes uh, for people with pancreas cancer. I totally agree, Eileen, and uh, that's what we also try to do in our institution and uh, I think that has a very positive impact on patients' outcome, particularly on quality of life. It's hard to quantitate this sometimes, but mm -hmm. we feel that's a really key message to also emphasize that getting treated in a center of expertise where you have these resources and tools and familiarity with the disease and its complications available can, can really, again, meaningfully add to, uh, to improve quality of life over time. Yeah, and it's also very important for the patients and their families to know that not only we're making the diagnosis, not only that we're with them throughout the treatment, but I personally like to tell them that we're going to be with them until the end, making sure that they're comfortable and that they're well taken care of. Exactly, and sometimes people have a, a misconception that palliative care means that there aren't treatments available, and that's a message we want to uh, discredit. Mm -hmm. Palliative care means optimizing outcomes over time. We may not be able to cure the cancer, but we can meaningfully impact on level of well-being, quality of life, functioning, ability to interact in terms of family, professional life, whatever is most important to that individual and their family. Really, really key. I agree. Thank you for the answers.